Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a beginner's guide to Star Citizen and today we are in PU uh, <laughs> Persistent Universe So we are on Port Olyser I'm just doing this little thing here to remember to show you something Alright Oh, all right. If you notice a lower frame rate here than any other place, that's normal. That's a server side issue. There's nothing you can do about it. And now that my frame rate is going up, I'm uh, feeling a little um, weary. Anyways, so if you want to get your ship, you need to come down in here, find a screen that works. All right. Some of them don't work. Try to find another one if uh, that happens. So our ship is here. You can see a little beacon here, but I'm not going there just yet because I want to show you something that I showed, uh, to told you about in uh, last video. So you have a little uh, on Port Alistair. You have uh, oh wow, the rings are spinning. That's insane. Uh, anyways, doesn't matter. Um, Dumpers Depot is the same Dumpers Depot that you had in um, Area 18. Guess about Outlet is the same too. You can come here to buy some stuff if you want. I don't have anything to buy here, so I don't really need to go here. You also have live fire weapons and garrity defense. And the one thing, well, okay, so live fire weapons here. You can buy ballistic weapons and you can buy ammo here, which I don't really need to because I already have full ammo because you always have full ammo when you spawn in. And Gary Defense sells the armors and flight suits, and it has two armors that you could not find in Area 18, which is this and this. And there's the equivalent for the Outlaw side, but it's on Grim Hex, and that's something that I will show you later in this video. So, now we go to C7. Okay, perfect. That's, uh, yeah, you have those little um, signs here on the ceiling that will tell you um, where to find the access to the... Uh, the landing pads that your ship is going to be parked in and all airlocks as far as i'm aware all airlocks um that are supposed to be in between a pad and um a pressurized zone have these little um cabinets here which you can use to change your outfit so see up oh, civilian clothes and flight suit that i equipped in area 18. so you go through the little uh, airlock here i'm not going to be talking because it's super noisy And you go to your ship. So this is an armistice zone, which means that you cannot draw your um, your personal weapons, and you can not fire your ship's weapon either. I don't know the range exactly, but that doesn't matter. So your ship is spawned, and you can use your mobby glass, which is the little computer you have attached to your wrist, by pressing F1, and you have a like a few. Uh, little apps here. You have the mission manager. You got the cry astro, which is something that will go uh, over at the end of this video. Um, port modification is what you use to, you know, click on those little dots here. When you click on one of those little dots here, it's uh, opening the port mod app. Uh, you have your journal, which is going to be telling you stuff about, you know, whatever is relevant to what you're doing. And if you find some data pads, for instance, on Grimhex, just throwing it out there, not for any particular reason, um, you can read what there uh, there is on the data data pad here on the journal app. You go back to the you know general menu using this little weird sign here. So you have other stuff, but I don't think yeah I don't think any of them work. Doesn't matter. So if you want to do a mission, you open the mission manager. In 260, the repair array missions can be um, bugged because the server does not dis um, transmit to the client the right state of the array. And sometimes you might be turning the array off instead of uh, turning it on and you're going to get a wanted level, which is called crime stat, by the way. So don't do those missions because they, they pay like a grand and uh, the ICC missions are at least as easy and at least as fast. They just cost you a little more fuel. So yeah, they pay way more. Uh, PI wanted, do it if you want. Um, you can be paid up to 2,600 bucks. Well, AUEC, which is the alpha currency. 
Um, but it's in a weapons free zone, so you know, be aware of that. So you track a mission by clicking in the center of the little uh, hexagon here. It will uh, display a beacon, you know, report to the probe for the mission, and you get in your ship and get going. So, because you've learned how to fly in um, free flight in uh, Arena Commander, right? You already know the controls, so I'm not going to go over that. The only thing that will tell you is that push N to retract your landing gear. Because when you have your landing gear out, you're in slow mode. Uh, you're limited to a much lower speed. Bring up the nav mode by pushing B. And it will uh, bring up uh, uh, all the destinations that are accessible. You point your ship towards where you want to go and press F. It will consume quantum fuel. You see QF just over the little uh, blue circle. So that's the amount of quantum fuel you have on board. It will take 8% of my quantum fuel, so that's fine because I'm full and push F and it will get you there. During this mission, there will be a little uh, audio log, so I'm not going to be talking during that. Ship. Random ship coming in. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Second class junior cartographer Tessa Bannister reporting in. I'm the eyes behind all the ICC scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. Which, yes, means I can totally see you right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I commed. I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post important jump point scanning and all. So, I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. If you have a second, could you check out these coordinates? Scans are saying something's there, but can't ID it. Alright, so... Again, press B to bring up the nav mode, make sure you have enough quantum fuel, but at this point you should have, regardless of what ship you're flying, because the Gladius is the one of the lowest range ships there are in the game. So, again... Aim your ship, push F, and it'll get you there. Alright, so what you want to do is find this little flashy red beacon. Sometimes there might be two, but only one of them will emit a little beeping when you get close to it. So, if it doesn't beep, you know that's the, not the right one. Um, so, yeah, you just fly there. On the way, there's going to be pirates fly, uh, spawning in. Uh, each player that comes in spawns two pirates. So, if you are playing with a friend and, you know, there are other people playing with you. Uh, keep in mind that every single person with spawn will spawn two pirates. Just saying. Anyhow, you can uh, decide to ignore the pirates, which is usually what I do, or you can fight them. Uh, it's up to you, but I usually don't waste my time with those because this particular Please mission... Yeah, okay. This particular mission you can do without having to fight, so that's, uh, you know... I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, just be careful when you're uh, flying in and coming in really hot. You might slam into the thing and blow up your ship. That has happened to me quite a few times, but, you know. Alright, so. Park. Oh, shit! I didn't see there was another player. Oh, boy. Alright, so hold F to get out of your vehicle. It's the same regardless of whatever you're sitting in or sleeping in for a bed, for a chair, for a pilot seat, for any type of seat. Um, you can get out just by um, holding F. Uh, you just find the little uh, flight recorder here. Maybe. Don't come in, don't come in too hot because you're going to bump in it and get turned around. To those who find this, know that my journey has ended. Finding my way here that made the path worth taking. 
I am glad that I can be part of your story too. Share it well. Ready safe travels. So that's a job well done. We got paid, the little lady is gonna be happy. Sort of. And uh can move on. Appreciate you looking into that scan for me. Between me and you, I had been hoping we might discover a new life form, like a sentient rock or something. But what you found was pretty neat too. So that's it, that's how you do a mission. Oh wait, is it Crusader or Port Alistair? No, okay, Port Alistair is here. So, we're gonna go back to Port Alistair so that I can show you how to get to Grim Hex. All right, so. Well, from Alistair, there's a little trick that I learned from another YouTuber, but unfortunately, I don't remember his name, and I'm sorry about that, but I'll try to find the video so I can link it here. Um, so from Port Alistair, you want to find Yella, which is the name of the moon. <clears throat> and there's an asteroid field, which is where the, you know, Grim Hex is going to be. So you find Yella, and you aim your ship as close as possible to uh, the beacon here without having your ship being sucked in. And then you push F to jump. Count to four and jump out. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, F. You're jumping out, so that's gonna bring you on the other side of Yella. Because Grim Hex is on the other side of Yella. So Yella is the little dot here, which is the moon of Crusader, which is this big one here. Bring the nav mode again and jump straight to Yella. And that should bring you right on top of Grim Hex. I say should because sometimes, you know, you mess up a little bit and uh, he look like a fool. But yeah, I can already see um, Grim Hex. So how do you know how to find Grim Hex when you're here? Well, first of all, you see those asteroid clusters here. Those look like they're composed of very re really big ones. And Grim Hex, which is here. Okay, that's the wrong side because it not from from this side because of the light. It looks like it's composed of really big rocks, but. It's the only cluster that is composed of smaller rocks and a lot more, like a lot larger number of rocks than other ones, which we can't see right here, but you're going to figure it out eventually. And you see those little rocks are held by, um, I don't know if they're anchors or electric cable or stuff, I don't know, but there's those cables, that's how you know that that's Grim Hex. Also, you need to be, you know... When you're at Grim Hex, you see basically just Crusader peeking out from behind Yella. And this is how you know, you know, where to go if you're not jumping in the right spot. So you need to have Crusader partially obscured, almost entirely, by the way, by Yella. So that's how you get there. Uh, you need to keep in mind that unlike Port Alistair, this is not a place that is uh, an armistice zone until you go through the airlocks. So right now, anybody can come in and shoot me and kill me. Um, same while you're on foot. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Be on the lookout, because sometimes people can be a little... Uh, eh, annoying, let's put it this way. <clears throat> so you land here, I think it's only manually. I'm not entirely sure, because some of my ships can land here uh, in autopilot. And the Gladius should be able to, but... The Freelancer does not. And uh, just don't ram the thing because you're going to blow up. Alright, let's see. Uh, coming slowly. No, it does not. Ooh, it does not. Alright, so I need to do it manually. Uh, it's slamming the ground. I don't care. I'm not sure I'm landed by wire. Alright, so if you get out, that means you're landed. So right now, anybody can come here. And just, like, get their guns and shoot me in the face and kill me. And that would not be very nice, but they can do it. So let's, uh, you know, be ready. <laughs> and since I only have the flight suit because I equipped that in Area 18, that is not going to be protecting me much. So, let's hurry that stuff up and go through the airlocks. By the way, I could have chosen another airlock because... Alright, 
Uh, just a word of warning. Sometimes there are players waiting for other people in the airlock, so just, you know, be careful. Uh, airlock, please. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Just be ready. Sometimes there are players waiting for you, so, yeah. All right. And be careful when you're in the airlock, because until it's closed, you can still get shot by someone waiting. All right. We are now in the armistice zone. Man, it's loud. And from here, you can call your ships again on this uh, little uh, display here. Which I'm gonna do right now, so nobody can, uh, you know, fly away with my ship when I'm not there. Selection confirmed. Your ship so, is currently being delivered to the um, to get into Grimhex proper, where there's like stores and stuff, call one of those elevators. Which are very safe, by the way. I mean, they use it for storage because that's how safe they are. <clears throat> so yeah, you got nothing to worry about here. Uh, just, you know, it's a little tricky sometimes to find a little thing here. All right, so this is Grimhex. So you have the bar here. Sometimes the doors open, sometimes they don't. Just because, you know. Um, so right now it's empty, but eventually you're gonna be, you know, finding more people. That's the data pads I was talking about earlier. You can find those, they will tell you stuff, like why this moon is called Yella. I'm not gonna do that right now, because that's, you know, stuff you should do yourself. Um, I have no idea why I'm going here, because that's not where I wanted to go. Um, because it's not easy to navigate otherwise. So, once you come from those elevators, you go to the right here, and you're gonna find the clothing store, which carries items that are specific to Grimhex, like those little t-shirts here. I don't give a sh <laughs> Or all those uh, stuff, you know. This one sometimes doesn't load properly. I don't really know why. But whatever, some textures don't always load properly, but that's fine. Um, you got, well, you know, you got some items, you, you're gonna browse through, through it yourself, uh, pants and, like, shoes all the way in the back here, so that's, uh, that's fine. If you go down here, you're gonna eventually get back in the bar, but that's not what I wanna do, because what I wanna do is show you where you can get the, like, late, uh, like, energy-based weapons and the outlaw-specific armors. Thank you. And you go through those doors, and this is... I don't even know what it's called. Doesn't have a name. Alright, it doesn't matter. So you have your outlaw... Uh, outlaw, you know, the ones that you saw in... Um, Area 18, the outlaw armors, you know. And that's the one that I want. Why? Okay. <clears throat> that's the uh, light armor, that's the medium armor. And if you really want, you can, like, grab the heavy one, but heavy one, I don't like it. Does protect a lot more, but ugh, makes you too slow. And that's your energy weapons, and you can buy them here. Or equip them, because you might already own them. And that's that's about it for Grimhex. I mean, there's more to, um, to explore here, but it's not really what I want to show. That's something that you want to explore on your own. So, once your ship has gotten a little beaten up, and you've expended some ammo, shot some missiles, and uh, used some fuel, you know, burned some fuel... Um, you might want to refuel, or repair, or rearm... Oh, oh. Alright, and you find a cryostro service station, whichever one you want. I'm taking one that is far, because, you know, whatever. And you fly there. Uh, by the way, as far as I've seen in this game, the way to find where the pads are, you know, the right way up, all the time, every place I've seen, uh, the pads are lit by the star. So if you're on the dark side of the whichever structure you're trying to find, you know, a place to land, that's probably you're in the wrong place. Shut up, dude. Talking here. Patch the damage up if you like. 
All right. So basically, you land your ship on a pad here, whichever one you want. You can use the auto land where you're not going to be able to choose yourself where to land. Um, I'm not going to be using the auto land function because the freelancer is a little too big for the small pads here. So I need to do it, you know, by feel. And not land it may, uh, automatically because otherwise you can't get repairs. Oh, here we go. And here we go. That's little um, drones here are gonna pop out. And by the way, if you're not landing manually, you're gonna be slightly off center, and those robots won't work. And I mean, sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. And that's gonna mess up the app. All right, we got repaired. Your ship's all ready to fly. All right, luck, all done. Doctor. And remember, next time you're running low, we'll take care of you at Cry Astro. Wow. So here we go. We're done. Um, so that's it for this uh, little series here. I hope it's gonna be helpful to you. And I'll see you next time in the verse. Until then, take care.